In this video we're gonna be designing a sci-fi gun. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description, let's get started. Hey guys, are you here from Blender Bros? And let's get cubed. So, cube in and let's just make it bigger and kind of wider. Maybe something like this. And we need to make it narrower, okay? Because guns are not super wide, yeah? Now we need to cut the shape. So D and end gone. And let's see. Now change your angle here to 5 degrees. So it's going to be a little bit, you know, easier to manipulate with that. So click on 5. It should be good. Create this kind of a shape here. Go in. Create a handle. Maybe here is fine. Go all the way here. And in. Maybe a bit lower. And cut it in here and X and slice it and delete that. Now, now this is not the you know end result by any means, so we need to refine it. Okay, so let's just scale this a little bit. A little bit more. I think that's good. Now Let's apply that, yeah? So here, let's uh, grab this face and let's create a custom orientation, all right? And we're gonna grab that in GUI, right? And let's extend it a little bit because it needs to be a bit longer, okay? Something like this, okay, cool. Now, <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is actually bring this one a little bit lower too. Let me see that. I think this should be a little bit lower. The proportions that you know the initial proportions are really important guys, okay? So if you get if you can get them right, get them right. I think this is a little bit still too short, I think. That will do. Okay, cool. Now first of all is you want a supple handle here. In fact this one could be a little bit lower guys. So GY and just drop it lower. Maybe somewhere here and Let's drop that and uh, smooth it a little bit deeper here. There we go. And now let's grab this edge here and bevel this, okay? Right, and let's grab that one and uh, let's just apply scale. And then let's bevel this, okay? Not too deep because you want to marry it to the other side and shift control click on sharpen. So we got this shape here. Now what we could do, technically, right, we could make this handle a little bit fatter here, so I grab it and go on, press K, slice, and grab that, and, you know, move it a little bit here. Now, if we're going to do that, we need to fix this uh, um, bevel here, so let's unbevel this with Mesh Machine, and let's bevel it again. You could, technically, what you could do is, uh, you know, run the bevel here with um, hard ups, so Q, click on Mark, and do this, right, so it's going to be a procedural bevel so when you move this edge right it's gonna move with it so um, and I think this is gonna be cool so here we could create um, this kind of a bulge so this kind of a thing here right and then we can apply this okay so let's apply this let's multiply and let's grab this edge here and let's just bevel it a little bit more Alt text, there we go. That looks good. So you got this kind of a bulge for hand, looks pretty cool. Let's grab this here and Q and shift curve extract here. Let's apply this and we will need to fix it in here, okay? So let's clean mesh, right? Operation screen mesh. And we can delete all this junk, clean that, uh, clean that, and we're good to go. We're going to apply that and then grab these two and move them up here like this and we're actually going to move it back so back here like that and then we're going to combine these two right and i'm going to run a bevel here okay like this and i'm going to run the bevel here so like that okay 
and then all bricks to the other side. And then I'm going to run a matching bevel here just to match this angle here, okay? I will need to remove this one, guys. So dissolve that and let's try again. There we go. Boom, right? And let's just move this one a little bit in and scale it just a little bit on uh, on X. There we go. Select them both and level them up, preferably with a cut. PG. So now we got a handle. Cool. So we got that going on. Now we need a trigger, right? So trigger, we could cut somewhere here, oh, like this, right? Let's make it trapezoidal and, you know, slice it. Then what we're going to do, we're going to arrange this. So if I scroll, and let's just, you know, let's just move it down here. Um, something like that. This should be more or less comfortable. And let's just apply that. And then what we're going to do is grab this um, loop here in the middle, split it into two. And let's first create a chair for our game. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab that and move it a little bit deeper. Okay, first of all, then let's just dissolve that. What we're going to do here is um, move this bevel a little bit on the Y here. Okay, and then move this one in a bit right, like this. And then we're going to bevel that, right? Let's try the loop slide, okay? There we go, that's better. And then alt X, how are we looking? Just gotta be careful with overlaps, yeah? Yeah, we got overlaps here in the middle, but uh, well, it's actually not too bad. Let's just remove the shops. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. We got some double edges here, so dissolve it, dissolve it. And this is the, the middle, right? So I think we're good. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm not gonna lie. So here we could, uh, let me see that vertex and occlude. And let's try to move this um, up, okay? So B and so like that, all of it. And then GZ and move it a little bit up here. So then what we can do is click, hold, click and bevel it a little bit deeper and then turn off loop slide to fix this problem. And you got a really nice, soft, you know, kind of a trigger entry here. Maybe that's a little bit too soft. Mm, maybe, maybe not as big. Also, we need to remove one of these. Um, one more time. There you go, I think it's gonna be better. You know, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we can run a bevel on that, right? So, you know, um, we will need to fix this sheeting here. So three to clean it. There you go, one more time, bevel. What's going on here? Let's just combine these. There we go. I'll text with the other side, recalculate, sharpen, and it should be good, right? The weighted normals. That looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent. I like that. Okay, cool. Now this bevel is a little bit too strong because remember this is a gun, so it's going to be made of metal. So it needs to be a little bit rough around the edges. So if you want a softer bevel, make it yourself. Okay, like here for instance. What you could do is uh, we could actually create a chamfer, uh, or maybe bevel. You know, like that. Okay, and again sharpen. So you're going to have a softer bevel on the bottom, a harder bevel on the top. And uh, and then the handle, right? So the handle, you know, let me just regulate that. Weighted normals, right? And uh, this could be literally kind of plunged in here. Now this could be uh, done a little bit better here. So we could combine that. And also, could select everything and uh, or grab the proportional editing select one of these and GX and just you know scale it and just move it in here okay and just nudge it in there you go that's better right the fall of this uh, trim here awesome so that's that. Here in the bottom, uh, we could have, uh, you know, 
could select them both and uh, this should be no difference this should be applied here so smart apply and uh, select this and this and you know shift curve extract right and we're gonna go to local view and let's just remove bevels and we see that we need to remove this bevel here solidify yeah solidify can apply but i don't need the bevel so here let's just remove this bevel and on bevel okay alt x peachy select them both and then what we're gonna do is we're going to combine them okay so you know in fact you know what i could do it manually so just grab that extend it right and simply bevel it so it kind of more or less follows this uh, curvature here right you know what I mean on the bottom and we could now sharpen this bevel this and make it softer so it's kind of like a like a base shift s and to geo you know and move it up here a little bit this one could be beveled here on this side so sharpen and um, you know run the bevel manually uh, what's going on here double verts 3 to clean it did it work no it didn't so do that i'll take to the other side the one was fine there we go and remove this junk how are we looking oh we're looking pretty good here to the same thing click alt click and you know bevel just don't overdo it there we go that's lovely now we need to be really careful with what the fuck is going on here hang on let's just dissolve this uh let me just slice this okay and apply this alt x there we go i think we're good to go here on the top we can actually create a chamfer and alt x there we go so we got this chamfer here going on the top peachy uh here we could have some monitor or whatnot so you know shift curve extract and we could slice that a little bit so slice it here um like this sharpen and you know could create something a bit more supple in here right and scale it whoa turn it off turn this proportional editing scale it in and shift s to geo scale it in and move it in like that okay well, maybe a bit bigger there you go this kind of looks weird here on the top maybe a bit more in uh, something like that and this could be narrower and this one could have a chamfer you know or a bevel even better there we go that looks pretty cool awesome i need some loofah <laughs> gun people gonna go nuts uh here let's just drop it down and extrude it here g y and something like this will do slice it maybe slice it a bit more and a bit more there we go something like this cool 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 and then we're going to this could be a little bit longer here you know uh, some other and we could have another cube move it in here scale it so it's narrower yeah and then apply scale and you know barrel here this one could be chamfered so it follows the uh, wait um, so it follows the uh, the chamfer on the top here um, should work cool this one could be 
bevel, it can be chamfered too. And here we could have this, you know, opening for the, for whatever. Actually, we could have a squared one. Why not? It could be like a, you know, energy weapon or whatnot. Okay. And we could have some kind of a, a vent here. Why not? All right. Um, actually, that looks weird. Let's make one. Cool. Let's, you know, battle this, right? And weighted normals. And we can apply that. And um, here on top, we could have something as well. So cube and go to the top and scale this. And create something here. Let's just apply that and scale. And let's just chamfer this and share for this one and uh, we could actually create an opening here because why not it's gonna look interesting maybe a bit higher okay and in fact we could have a cut here on this side there we go why does it want to cut it? There we go. I have a scroll and let's just shift it. Okay. So we shift the ball. Now we need to move it a little bit so, you know, we don't cause too much of a headache for ourselves. That will do. Okay. Grab that and shift curve extract like this. And we're going to slice it. So uh, let's just, you know, um, slice it in here like this right and all the way down and remove that sharpen this and we're gonna bevel these two right we're gonna bevel this one we're gonna bevel these two and then we're gonna run a thicker bevel on the whole thing. It's gonna create like a pad and GX and move it in here and then mirror to the other side. Okay, cool. And this one could be a little bit higher, so somewhere here. Alright, awesome. We could have something here in the bottom as well. So cube, scale it. You know, and move it somewhere here. Scale it down. And move it somewhere here. Actually, let's make it wider and shallower, and then apply scale. And we're going to run a chamfer, a bevel on this. Sharpen, scale this, and extrude it. And move it up. This is going to be cool. I can now then this grab this one and. Move it backwards and we're going to bevel these two. Okay, so don't overdo it. And sharpen that. Cool, cool, cool. Here on this one, we need a chamfer. For sure. Now you don't want to sandwich that, so we could do something like this. Uh, e. Right? So something like this here. And. Uh, this should do. Let's grab the end gun and maybe do something like this here. That's uh, interesting. I think it is. And there could be some kind of a rubber here, you know, whatever. So sharpen that, grab that, and shift curve extract. And mirror this to the other side, and mirror this to the other side, right? Cool. So we got that. Awesome. And I think we're good, guys. So here to get some grooves, whatever. Okay, you know, and then bevel this and sh 
shift click and what we're going to do is do something like this or maybe it's too too big you know maybe make it a little bit smaller and uh, longer I'm looking maybe still too deep maybe somewhere here oh that's pretty cool I like that so let's just grab another cube and scale it scale it down move it in here okay and now all we need to do is well cut the trigger so so let's grab the trigger here something like that move it closer maybe rotate it a bit so now with this one down here we could kind of um, bevel this a little bit here and bevel this a bit here or chamfer it and altex how are we looking Oh, we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good and we could you know slice it in here like that um it's gonna look quite interesting right awesome now we could have some kind of a thing on this one on top so shift curve extract uh, so make it too thick and let's just grab it and on and uh you know let's just slice it a bit so here like that slice it off and slice it off here and then maybe slice it here to sharpen and then we could slice it on top here as well I'm just gonna create a bit more interest yeah and this one could be layered here as well so V Don't cut the whole length, it's gonna be more interesting like that. Yeah, that looks pretty badass, guys. That looks pretty badass. I like that. Button here would not. Oh, it actually could be round. You know, just for fun. It's gonna look good. Maybe not round, maybe maybe something like this. Uh, B. Okay, and cut it in. Press T. And let me see that. I need to rotate it a little bit. So, something like this. It needs to be closer, I think, here. Something like that. And, uh, you know, let's apply that. And let's grab this P. Sorry, L. And then P selection, right? Now this, you know, looks a little bit bleak here. So what we could do is grab that and here, control click on that and face and, you know, I grab this one, insert it a little bit, control I and delete that, right? Grab this one and extrude it, select everything out and recalculate outside and sharpen this. So. We're gonna have some kind of, uh, you know, um, some kind of an interior here, and I think we could uh, run maybe another cut here inside. I think it's gonna look a little bit better, but it's just me. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, you know, kind of looks fuller. Cool, I think we're done, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.